Hi and welcome to another 3ds Max tutorial. My name is Alex, and in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to try to show you how you can create a low poly version of uh, head, totally in 3ds Max, starting from the sphere, and then just adding some uh, edges. And as you can see here, the shape of the head is really not uh, perfect but the topology that it has uh, has all the all that it needs for you to go in and uh, deform it to look like more of a head so starting from the front view pressing F on the keyboard and then just drawing out the box and setting up uh, the same values for all the sides and then just applying a turbo smooth modifier to it and right click on it and collapse to and then convert R to a poly and maybe choose a more suitable color and now just uh, delete the half of it and select edge and apply a symmetry modifier to it go back to editable poly and click here on the show end results and now you can uh, start adding edges so I'm going to hold uh, select this edge and hold shift and to select the loop and then just press control shift E on the keyboard or go under graphite, graphite modeling tools and just connect ones do the same for this one and for this one and then again for this one <coughs> control click on vertex to select it and shift X on the keyboard or click here on constraint to edge and then just go down and click here on um, make planner on X value and then just W and just push them together a little bit the next thing we're going to do is going to with the vertex selection uh, cut press S on the keyboard or go here to snap tool turn on and cut like it's shown here select the center part and go under vertex chamfer and chamfer it pretty big press OK and L on the keyboard Z on the keyboard and then just select uh, the half that is uh, going to be the back side and then just go down to here hide selected because now we are going to go to freeform and with the shift tool selected we can easily move the vertices hold control and move the mouse to uh, control the fall off and hold uh, shift and move the mouse to uh, control the area that is being really uh, hard affected so just just make sure you are not moving too many vertices at once and then just reposition them so the shape looks like uh, the shape of an eye just don't worry about the basic shapes for now just uh, make sure you know what you're looking at when you look at your model so that's why we are doing this uh, vertex uh, repositioning because it's going to look uh, a lot uh, different at the end so here we have our eyes positioned and we can also move it in this value Oops. so 
so now we just have to select the inner uh, polygon and hold under graphite modeling tools under polygons hold shift and click on inset and insert it a little bit Oops. and then apply and continue and do another inset with this still selected just push it inwards and make sure you have constraint to non selected and maybe grow it move it in and here you can see we easily created the inner part of our eyes now we are going to create a nose select these vertices, uh, these polygons and just under polygons hold shift and click on extrude and extrude it a little bit press ok select these polygons and delete them and select these vertices and on the front view W on the keyboard, S on the keyboard and just move it inwards and then just target weld these points so you get something like this we're going to delete this edge control backspace to delete it and press 1 on the keyboard and cut and cut across then we can go to freeform and just move these vertices a little bit more around to create basic shape of the nose but I said before uh, we are just aiming to uh, get the basic proportions the basic uh, topology so we're not really concerned about uh, how the model is looking at the moment and as we can see here we have a five-sided polygon which is not what we want so we're going to fix this by just clicking here first of all we're going to go to polygon selection and unhide all and then go to uh, add selection select this loop and then just uh, control shift E on the keyboard to uh, make a new edge and then just connect these two and this way we get another point that we can use for uh, deforming the eye I'm just going to hide the back side again because when we are using shift we are m moving all the vertices throughout the model which we don't want uh, moment so just use the shift again so now we are repositioning again these vertices so the model looks like more as it should and again polygon selection and we're going to unhide all again control shift E again and then just like this and I'm not going to uh, talk what I'm doing about because you can see what I'm doing so now for the mount I'm going to go to cut and cut across from this point and then we're going 
to do another loop because we are going to reshape the nose a little bit we're going to select this polygon and hold shift and extrude then just delete this inner polygon and these polygons and let's see these polygons then just select this vertex and this vertex and the front view as W and just move it until it snaps and target bolt these points now as we can see here we have a triangle here which is not what we want so we are going to um, select these edges and just connect them with the new edge and now we get this and we are going to just cut across here Let me see if it is hold shift chamfer and create a hole, select it and polygon bevel it in a minus direction. So now we have this and it's starting to look a lot like it should <laughs> not really but <laughs> we're getting there so select this control shift E to uh, connect them and connect these ones and just select these polygons and just move them out a little bit and as you can see we are getting the shape of the mouth so I'm just moving this edge a little bit, this vertex a little bit and being selected as I want, but never mind. Oh yeah, we shouldn't be using this one. Sometimes the comp is trying to help me but I don't want to listen so this is what happens when we do that so now as we can see these lips are not really looking as they should and if we select all the polygons and go under selection and select non quads we can see which quads are triangles or more than four sided you can see here we have five polygons one two three four five and triangle and these triangles we're going to fix them by just making a loop and making another selection which is going to help us deform the lips a little bit more and for this part now we have these five sided polygons that we have to uh, get rid of we could for example do something like this and cut across and for these two there are a couple of ways that you can uh, get rid of uh, such multigons and as you can see here we could do another swift loop here bam 
and then just unhide all and we have our basic topology created for the the formation of the of the head but as you can see sometimes when you do uh, edge loops you may have to make sure you have unhided all the polygons or it will create some uh, issues like we saw here and maybe we can add another one here so it is more easy to deform and this is it really about creating the topology needed to uh, get the face created and uh, now it's all about just using the freeform shift tool to just uh, reposition the polygons and the vertices